Today, British legend Christopher Lee stars in the swashbuckler film The Devil Ship Pirates, which airs at 11 a.m. on Legend. The 1964 flick follows a pirate and his crew who set out for the Cornish coast on a battered galleon in the aftermath of Sir Francis Drake's defeat of the Spanish Armada in 1588. As they arrive, they must convince locals they are an invading force and that England has in actual fact been defeated by the Spanish. The film was among the 212 films made by Lee during a prolific career in Hollywood, which saw the star debut in 1948's Corridor of Mirrors. However, his life in film nearly didn't become a reality after an iconic producer questioned his appearance. The idea of Lee first becoming an actor came after he served in World War II, and couldn't think myself back into the office frame of mind when he was offered his old employment at Beecham's in 1946. His cousin, Nicola Carandini, who at that point was the Italian ambassador to Britain, said Lee should consider a career in acting after he regaled him with tales from the front lines, and how he obtained certain wounds. Despite his mother's protests, Lee attempted to make it on the stage and in film, but his initial venture saw his appearance criticized. He recalled being invited in to meet Nicola's friend Filippo Del Guidas, a film producer and head of Two Cities Films, which was part of the rank organization. Lee noted that Guidas looked me up and down and concluded that I was just what this industry was looking for. When he met with Joseph Sumlow, who questioned Guidus's decision, things took a turn. In a 2005 interview with Total Film, Lee said, Initially, I was told, by Sumlow, I was too tall to be an actor. That's a quite fatuous remark to make. It's like saying you're too short to play the piano. I thought, right, he'll show you. At the beginning, I didn't know anything about the technique of working in front of a camera, but during those 10 years, I did the one thing that's so vitally important today, I watched, I listened and I learned. So when the time came I was ready. Oddly enough, to play a character who said nothing, the creature in The Curse of Frankenstein. The comment may have put many others off, but Lee made it his duty to prove the Hollywood legend wrong. And he did. He went on to achieve critical success over a career spanning decades, on which reached a new high in 2001 when he was made a CBE for services to drama. This was followed by a Knight Bachelor honor eight years later in a service with then Prince Charles. Across the channel, Lee, who also appeared as a James Bond villain in The Man with the Golden Gun, was hailed by the French government, which gave him the honor of being a commander of Ordre des Arts at des Lettres in 2011. According to the Sydney Morning Herald at the time, Lee said, a whole new career opened up for me when I was in Lord of the Rings and Star Wars, Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. What's really important for me is, as an old man, am known by my own generation and the next generation know me too. Lee also discussed how he had originally been concerned that his roles would only ever be found in horror something which changed in the late 50s with his role as Holmes. He added, Since then I've never been typecast although I've played a lot of bad guys, Terry's more scope than being the man in the white hat. Today's film The Devil Ship Pirates was championed as a hit upon its release, earning acclaim from critics. Among those marking the film's release was The Guardian, which called it very good fun and should have children sitting on the edge of their seats. However, 
Ali Wells Film and Video Guide was less impressed, describing it as a lackluster pirate yarn with not much action and some elements of hammer horror. The film was among a number of films Lee and its director Don Sharp would make during their careers, including The Face of Fu Manchu, The Brides of Fu Manchu, Rasputin the Mad Monk and Bear Island. Reflecting on the flick, Sharp said that and Kiss of the Vampire were among the happiest movies I ever worked on. He added, with Shepperton or Pinewood you were one of a number of pictures being made, and if you were on a small budget, you got second or third best. At Bray, when you walked through the gate, everything was on your picture. There was a family feeling about it, and a feeling of pride as well, everyone knew their craft and inspired others. The Devil Ship Pirates airs from 11am today on Legend.